Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. So here we're getting ready to do a general reading for your sign. Um, this may or it may not resonate with all of you watching. Again, this is for the general public, right? So please just um, take it how it fits for you. Let's go through the main energies first, then we'll go through and clarify. And we'll also pull some advice messages from Spirit at the end. All right, so let's start with you first, Scorpio. You guys have the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. A few of you could be dealing with a Libra or there could be a pregnancy here involved. Only for a small percentage of you, though. All right. I feel like some of you, you're still attracted to this person. Yeah. And you still think about him, too, with that Eight of Swords. But at the same time, you could be holding yourself back from going towards them. Maybe you don't think that's a good idea or maybe you guys cut them off or whatnot. Or maybe this situation was creating some sort of um, anxiety or stress for you. So you could be deciding, again, to hold back from them and just um, focus on your finances, your stability and yourself. OK, um, your children here with that Empress. Now, um, in the past position, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands and the Sun card could have been a Leo here for some of you. Um, whoever this was that you were connected to, it was a very, very strong connection, guys. OK, a lot of chemistry, maybe a twin flame, soulmate, whatever you believe in. All right. And I feel like somebody was definitely missing this here. And if you know you weren't feeling like that, Scorpio, then it was them. OK, it was the other person. Um, yeah, but the Six of Cups is about nostalgia, okay, and um, reminiscing. This could have been a, you know, an ex or somebody that you have some history with. But with the Ace of Swords, maybe some of you <clears throat> or them, somebody got cut out here, okay? Started to see things clearly and kind of wanted to get rid of this past energy and let this go. All right, guys. Now your person, they've got the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Star card. A few of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? So both of you have the Eight of Swords, which means I feel both of you are holding back from each other, still missing each other, yet not taking any action towards this um, connection. They do still have feelings for you too, and they miss you, all right, with that Two of Cups. Some of you, maybe they're already in another relationship though, all right? Um, others of you, maybe you're actually together with them. Okay, guys, again, this is general. It may resonate differently with everyone. But um, yeah, let's go through and clarify your energy first. Okay, Scorpio, Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress for Scorpios. All right, one more. Clarify the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. All right, so we got the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords again. Yeah. Um, somebody here is feeling stuck in a situation. I don't know if it's a marriage or a relationship, a living situation, or just feeling very restricted, unable to make moves like you used to, okay? It could have to do with this whole lockdown COVID-19 situation for some of you, okay? Maybe that's um, stressing some of you out a little bit. Um, or you feel kind of isolated here for some of you, but you guys are going to be all right. Okay. With this King of Pentacles, this is somebody who's very solid. Okay. And, um, this may have to do with money or finances. You know, the King of Pentacles can also be someone who's kind of, um, stubborn. <laughs> all right. Or prideful. Maybe you guys have, um, you know, quite a bit of pride when it comes to this person and you don't want to be again, the one to open up or reach out here. You could be, um, just, uh, protecting your energy or holding back. Some of you feel like this situation is over or there's been some sort of loss here, okay? With this Five of Cups, that does represent sadness or regret. And again, if you don't feel this way, Scorpio, then it's them, okay? Somebody feels like this situation is a lost cause, maybe, all right? So let's um, clarify their energy spirit. Please clarify the uh, Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Star card for Scorpio's person. Clarify the Two of Cups. The Eight of Swords and the Star card. Clarify the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Star. All right, one more. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold, too. Yeah, I don't know if you cut them off or... Maybe there's some space or distance between the two of you. And they've got the Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, um, some of you, I feel like this person wishes they could offer you more or that they should have in the past, okay, with that King of Pentacles. But both of you got it, okay, which means um, both of you are kind of prideful here, all right, guys, or don't want to look vulnerable, okay? So, um, yeah, this King of Pentacles here, 
I don't really necessarily see them taking any action towards you. Um, they could be, um, you know, disappointed here as well with the three of sources about pain, heartbreak, rejection, or, um, you know, hurt feelings. Could have been a third party situation here. All right, guys. Um, a few of you, it's really hard for this person to get over this situation. They're still thinking about you, okay, a lot. But at the same time, they don't want to show it, okay, with this King of Pentacles. Maybe they're pretending like um, everything is fine, all right? So let's go through and clarify your energy again. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords for Scorpios. Clarify the Five of Cups. The King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And one more. Clarify the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. All right, so we got the Nine of Wands. Um, the Fool card could be dealing with an Aries and the Magician, a Virgo, or a Gemini here for some of you. Um, somebody could have been doing some spell work too. I don't know if it was you or them, Scorpio, but the Magician is about manifesting, okay? Or some sort of spiritual connection you and this person have. Some of you, you're still very, very much so drawn to them, all right? But at the same time, you may be trying to detach from this situation with the full card. This is someone who can be kind of aloof or um, just ready to take a leap of faith, maybe in a different direction away from this connection, okay? Leaving this behind for some of you. Others of you, maybe you want a second chance here or... Um, for this to come back around, all right? And with the Nine of Wands, some of you, this situation, it really affected you in um, maybe a not so good way, okay? Either that energy is still here or it was in the past, okay? And maybe that's why somebody gave up here. But the Nine of Wands, yes, this is someone feeling kind of burnt out or overburdened. Like, you know, the situation has just been uh, challenging or difficult, all right? Now, let's clarify their energy one more time, and then we'll uh, pull your guys' advice messages. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the King of Pentacles for Scorpio's person. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the King of Pentacles for Scorpio's person. All right, one more. All right, so they got the Six of Cups, Missing You, the Lovers. Oh, gosh. And they might be spying on you, too. Um, This is very intense here. Okay, this person's feelings for you. All right, guys. Um, They miss you. They do. A lot. A lot more than what you think. And they feel left out, too. Okay? This could be about next, guys, or somebody that you have kids with, somebody from the past. They, it's like they just cannot let this go. Okay? Could be a Gemini involved here. The passion, the chemistry, something here they're still lusting about. Um... Or they just feel like this uncontrollable pull towards you guys, okay? And um, with the Page of Swords, they might be watching you or spying, okay? And if that's not the case, it could just represent that they're curious about you, okay? Or they um, they could be asking about you or talking to their friends or family about you as well with this um, Page of Swords. Um, but I also feel like this person, they may be kind of dry with their communication sometimes, like they don't open up a lot emotionally, okay? So maybe they're kind of closed off and detached a little bit, but they're still, they still want this is what I see, all right, guys? And to be honest, some of you, it's both of you that still want each other, okay? At least that's the energy that's here now, all right? But anyway, let's pull some advice messages from Spirit. You guys, these may pertain to this uh, situation or connection, or this could be about, you know, something else in your life, just, um, you know, general advice. Take it how it fits, okay? Spirit, please show me three messages that you have for Scorpios. Show me three advice messages for Scorpios. One more. Okay, so we have surrender your fear of change. And it says the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation. I have I have faith that all is well. Okay. Yeah, maybe somebody's going through some changes, okay? Uh, the full card can represent a new beginning or starting over, which 
some people, you know, a lot of people out here are having to do that, okay? Um, especially when it comes to stability and finances, things are changing for people, okay? Um, when it comes to jobs and businesses and just having to be, you know, uh, isolated and kind of locked down and whatnot, restricted. So yeah, somebody here needs to just be able to adjust to change and go with the flow of things, okay? Especially things that are out of your control. All right, guys. Now, next we also have surrender to rest and sleep. And it says to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Yeah, some of you, maybe you need to like literally get some rest, okay? Um, especially if you're overthinking things here with that eight of swords, or you just may need to take a break or um, relax, okay? We also have surrender frustration and it says frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. All right, so um, that's what came out, Scorpios. If this resonated, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Overall, I don't think this was really a bad reading, okay? And to, um, just kind of summarize things here again, maybe there was a breakup or some sort of loss or somebody feeling rejected or abandoned or whatever, but you and this person still care about each other. There is still some sort of um, telepathic connection or feelings here, more so on their end for some of you, okay? Um, but yeah, that's what came out. Be sure to hit the bell notification as well, okay? That way you're aware of when I upload new content, okay? I wish you guys the best. Take care.